Hey everyone, Minimon here, and with it being about a week since the Garden Warfare 2 Fiesta event, I thought it may be a nice idea to talk about Garden Warfare 2 and why it's an awesome and also important game for anyone who picks it up and plays it. Especially considering that after all this time, there are still people playing the game and new players that keep on joining onto the battlefield. So join me as I go through my points to see why Garden Warfare 2 is such a good game. Game modes play a vital part in making the game not just fun for the first time playing, but also for being able to continue having fun each time you return and play through the same game mode. Garden Warfare 2 is full of fun game modes. Some of the game modes here are what you expect to see in a shooter, such as your Team Vanquish, or Vanquish Confirmed, or Domination. But Garden Warfare 2 also has other game modes that makes use of the series' own features to make the gameplay even more interesting. To start off, let's look at some of the multiplayer game modes. First up is Turf Takeover, where you play on maps which will expand with each objective that gets captured by the attacking team, with both the plants and the zombies getting a chance to both attack and defend on different maps. Now at first, the concept seems very simple, but then you introduce Garden Warfare 2's minion mechanic, and it helps to spice up the gameplay a little bit, as on each turf of the map, the defending team will be able to set up defensive pots and bots around the objective, whilst the attacking team can spawn in minion plants and zombies to support them in capturing the objective. The pots and bots can also be used in Gnome Bomb, a game mode where you pick up a gnome with a bomb and plant it at one of three of the opposing team's bases, with you having the ability to set up pots and bots around them in order to provide some defence. Then Garden Warfare 2 also has its player vs environment mode called Ops, which both the plants and the zombies have their own variations of. And I don't have to be the one to say how much style is packed into this specific mode. Now, Ops is a survival and defense game mode, with 10 waves to survive. These waves will contain special waves where certain enemies will spawn, additional objective waves where you might have to be running by a time limit or you might have to run around the map, and you also get boss waves, where the things that get picked out for these boss waves get picked on a literal slot machine. All of these things already make this mode incredibly replayable, as it basically means you get a different experience each time you play. Plus, both Garden and Graveyard Ops have their own musical styles, which give them a little more personality. And for anyone looking for a more infinite game mode, then look no further than Infinity Time, which is its very own PvE mode, which is separate from Ops, but it does share a few similarities, as also having its own differences making it feel unique once again. And on the plus side, Infinity Time also has its own musical style, just like the Ops modes before it. But even with all these things combined, there's another huge factor that plays into the replay value and importance of Garden Warfare 2. And with that, we move on to my next point. Garden Warfare 2 is a class-based shooter. Both teams have 8 classes, each with their own weapons, abilities and role to play on the field, offering you the chance of being a general attacker, to an up-close and personal combat character, to sniping and then even supportive gameplay for your teammates. But unlike most of the class-based shooters, Garden Warfare 2 has a feature that actually gives you options to play as the other classes that you might not usually play. In Garden Warfare 2, at least 7 of the classes have what are called variants, which are alternate versions of the class, which will add an elemental bonus, apply a certain gimmick to the class, or change the class's weapon. This means you have more options when it comes to picking which class versions you enjoy. As an example, say you enjoy classes that have assault rifle or machine gun type weapons, then you'll immediately enjoy playing classes such as Foot Soldier and Colonel Corn, and you might avoid the likes of Engineer and Cactus, since, let's be honest, Engineer and Cactus's weapons aren't exactly machine guns. But then you unlock Mechanic, and then Bandit Cactus, and you find out that those variants of those classes that you avoid have primary weapons that work kind of similar to machine guns and assault rifles. So now you don't just have an option to play a class, 
You were literally given a reason to play a class that you wouldn't usually choose. You can also unlock different versions of the abilities that the classes have as well, and you can mix and match them to your advantage. And I'll even admit, I even think some of the abilities will even work at their best with certain class variants. So, with all that being said, the many different variants offer you a chance to enjoy different classes while still having the main thing you enjoy about playing the game. And it offers loads of replay value, especially with a huge amount of variants for each class. If there's another huge and incredibly important part of Garden Warfare 2, it's how you can customise your class. Now, there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of customizations in Garden Warfare 2 for most of the classes, allowing you to mix and match to your heart's content. You could customize your class to fit better with its style, or if you want to make yourself stick out like a sore thumb, you can do that too. Now, there's not really a whole lot else I can really say in this part, considering that it is just customization. So I guess the best thing I can say is, customization is just great since you can add your own personal style and charm to each of your own classes and their variants to kind of stick out from other players. Now before any of you stop me and say, well there's only really two game modes that are worth playing each year in the Mystery Portal, I still feel like the Mystery Portal is important to mention since it basically adds an additional game mode to play online in each month, with those game modes usually having a gimmick such as super speed, or only being able to play at certain classes, or it can quite literally be an actual additional game mode such as capture the taco, boy I miss that mode so much. Anyway, I suppose it serves as an okay way to return to the game every now and then to check out what's going on. So in conclusion, Garden Warfare 2 is a brilliant example of a shooter game, which gives players options and reasons to not just try out, but also play as classes that they wouldn't usually touch, as well as offering plenty of fun gameplay for both the PvP and PvE parts of the game for all to enjoy. And it makes sense as to why plenty of players still hop on and enjoy playing this game even 80 years after the game's initial release. And now to you lot the viewers, feel free to share your opinions and thoughts on Garden Warfare 2 in the comments below. And if you haven't played the game, is it something you might consider in the future? Or is it something that you prefer to watch as gameplay on YouTube, but not play yourself? Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up here now. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you've seen, leave a like, and maybe I'll see you lot again in my next video.